Hey everyone, I am so excited. Today I'm getting to check out some new tech. This is the brand new AmazeFit T-Rex Pro smartwatch. I'm excited to open this guy up and check it out. Come along with me. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Jeff and on this channel, I do all sorts of different tech reviews, including smartwatches, fitness trackers, tools, and more. So if that sounds like something that you're into, please consider subscribing. But today I am super excited to be checking out the brand new AmazeFit T-Rex Pro smartwatch. So let's get to the unboxing. We'll go through setup and uh, this should be a lot of fun. All right, let's take a look at this. So this is the packaging that it's gonna come in. And let's take a look at some of the different features that are on the box. So let's start off. It's got a 1.3 inch AMOLED display. It has the blood oxygen saturation measurement. And then it gives you 100 plus sport modes. That's crazy. And then it has the ultra battery life. That is definitely something I'm interested to see is how how the battery lasts on this because I know that was one of the features all sorts of little uh, verbiage on the back it does say here that it is compatible with Android 5.0 iOS 10.0 or above and then on here it says military standard MIL STD 810 G certified it has the precise positioning with the multi GNSS so uses several different satellites for the GPS positioning and then water resistance up to a hundred meters that's awesome uh, also has the built-in uh, altimeter or uh, altimeter is it altimeter or is it altimeter I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna say it's altimeter. And then we've got our barometer and then our compass. So let's open this guy up and take a look. So they give you a little arrow right here. Let's peel this, oh, look at that. And then it just starts it opening up. It's always so fun when you get to open up something new. I feel like the bottom is calling me to open it up. I like the packaging, looks very slick so far. Let's open this up. So I opened up the box and it just has that new plastic smell, that new electronics smell to it. And it is just so cool. It looks like the box splits open and it looks like there's instructions. And then this side has power and also showing me that it just slips open. So, See if we can pop that apart. We'll pull this out. Let's take a closer look at the watch itself. So as I can see, there are four buttons, physical buttons that are on this watch. We have our plastic casing and it looks like there's little screws here holding this top part. Uh, it does seem to clearly have labeled. So this is select back down and up on the different buttons. This is just a sticker. We'll pull that off in a minute. So just kind of taking a look at how the band looks. I went for the steel blue design versus a lot of times uh, all the watches come in black. And black is cool. I thought the steel blue was a nice change of pace. Uh, I like how the colors kind of complement each other Laying the watch out, let's flip it over. You can see all the different sensors that are on the back. Let's pull this off. So much fun. So we have our sticker on the front. Let's pull this off. It looks very cool. So let's check out the rest of the contents in the box. Let's open this up. This has got our charger. It's interesting because I thought you could just rip this off, but this piece comes off and this is the cable and then the rest of it's kind of hidden inside this other box. So this is gonna pop right on, magnetically adheres to the back. And I would say you have about two feet of charging cable. And then we have our nice thin book of instructions. Let's see if we can get the watch to turn on. So this upper right button is the select button, but it's also the power button. So we're gonna hold this in. Does not look like it's got any juice 
uh, right out of the package. So I'm gonna pop the charger in the wall and let's charge this up and then we'll come back when we're ready to set it up. And real quick, as we do in all the videos on this channel, we've hidden Tinker. He's our little hidden robot. He looks just like this guy right on my shirt and he's gonna briefly pop up hidden somewhere during this video. If you happen to spot him popping up, take note of the timestamp or the amount of time into this video that you spotted him popping up and be the first person in this video to let me know the correct timestamp down in the comments section below along with your best comment and we'll put your name on our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page as well as give you a shout out in a future video, just like Deborah Nelson, one of our recent viewers, to find Tinker in one of our recent videos. So I've let the watch charge up, and so now we have some battery, we have something to work with. We're gonna get things set up, and it gives me a QR code, so I've got my QR scanner app. I'm just gonna scan this on the watch, and this is going to take me to my Google Play Store, and I have the option now where I can download the Zep app. If for some reason you can't scan that QR code, you can just do a search for Zep, and that's gonna bring up this app. We're gonna go ahead and install this. With the Zep app installed, let's open it up. So from this point, the app is installed, and I'm gonna allow it access to uh, photos, and we're going to add and sync up this smartwatch in the Zep app. So. I'm gonna click on this plus button in the upper left corner, and I'm gonna choose watch. Uh, it's asking uh, access location services, uh, so I'm gonna say got it. it. Wants to access my location, so we'll do that while I'm using the app. And again, we'll hit got it, and will I allow it to take pictures or video? We're gonna allow that while it's using the app. And then it's uh, asking me here uh, how or what type of watch type it is. This one has that QR code, which is right there. So we're going to do the watch with the QR code. And now it's looking to scan it. And it is pairing. So we'll let it do its thing and come back. So that was actually just a couple of seconds. It's saying accept pairing request. And we're going to check on the... Uh, Click the check mark there and it's going to finish pairing and it has successfully paired and it's going through settings here, restoring watch settings for a previous device will be restored after you replace the device. So we'll let it finish doing its setup and it's going through updates. So we're going to let it finish updating all its software and come back. And from this point we are connected and set up. So this is the Zap app and when I'm in my uh, T-Rex Pro menu. These are all the different options and we'll come back to this. But in the uh, meantime, let's look at the features of the watch. Okay, and I hope you're enjoying this video or maybe you're getting some value out of it. And if you're having some fun, take a second right now, smash that like button as it helps out this video as well as this channel. So let's take a look at the vibrant uh, watch screen. So this is a 1.3 inch AMOLED screen, 360 pixels by 360 pixels. And as we uh, swipe in different directions, that gives you different options, brings up different menus on the watch. Let's run through these. So this is the shortcuts menu, and you can get a glance of all the information that you have. Since I am just starting off using this watch, it shows me the date, the uh, day, and then it shows me the battery percentage, and then the little cloud in the middle is the temperature. That's actually in Celsius. I would love if that would be in Fahrenheit, because uh, I use Fahrenheit here in the United States. I'm in Wisconsin. So to change that setting, what you can actually do is go into the Zep app, and here is my home page or my dashboard. What I can actually do is jump to Profile, and then I'll see my devices and I've got my T-Rex Pro set up. Under here, if I go to weather, under weather I can see temperature units and I can change that over to Fahrenheit. When you're done with those weather setting changes, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your home screen and swipe down so that it resyncs with your watch and then give it maybe a minute and it should update that information. So back at our shortcuts menu, you can access things like the flashlight, uh, if we tap on that, that brings the flashlight up. If I hit the back button, that takes me back. Uh, it actually has an ambient light sensor, which you can activate from this A 
Uh, if you just want it to be as bright as possible, you can increase the brightness, or if you tap that ambient light sensor, it's going to adjust the brightness accordingly. So I noticed next to the temperature, there's this little umbrella. I'm not quite sure what the number three means next to that. Like if I need to take three umbrellas with me, if I'm going outside or if it's gonna rain three times today, if you happen to know what that is, let me know that down in the comments section below. Uh, as far as our shortcuts, so we also have our Do Not Disturb, which is the moon. This leaf with the lightning bolt is battery saver. And when power saving is enabled, the watch will only record steps and basic sleep information. Uh, we also have theater mode, so this is going to, uh, it says here, after the theater mode is on, the screen brightness will be adjusted to the lowest value and wake on wrist rays and always on display will be off. So it's going to give you the best options for like a theater setting. And then this also takes you into settings uh, where you can change different things like your watch face, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I also wanted to show you guys here that, so if you go under say display, this is where you can change brightness. You can also change the auto screen on and off. So you've got anywhere from five seconds all the way down to 30 seconds. Uh, if we hit our back button, you can always turn the on or the always on display on or off. Um, if we turn it on, I will just show you guys an example. Uh, let's go back to the, let's go back a screen here. And let's go to the uh, always or the auto screen and let's just set that to like five seconds. So this is what the normal screen is going to look like. And then if we wait till it times out, your always on screen is going to look like that. So dimmer and not quite as vibrant, but again, you're always going to have that watch face time screen on if you turn on the always on display. Something else to note under the settings is you can go into display, but you can also go into things like GPS. So GPS, it uses several different satellites to get its uh, global positioning. And you can actually choose which one you want. Uh, and uh, if there's one satellite that I guess is giving you better results than the others, you've got those options to choose them under settings. If we back up to the settings, you can also turn your workout detection on or off. If you go under system, this gives you an area where you can do your most basic functions, including reboot, powering off, and factory resetting the watch. So also in looking at the design of the watch, real quickly, I wanted to just talk about the bands. So the bands themselves that the watch comes with are silicone, and uh, you have the ability to switch out the bands, but in my opinion, Amazfit does not make it very easy. There are screws on either side of the watch, and you will need a special type of screwdriver, or actually a two screwdriver set, which come with some of the replacement bands uh, that you can use to remove the wristbands. It's actually quite easy, but just not as simple as some of the other smartwatches out there that I've reviewed, like say Fitbit's Versa 3 that has their quick release underneath where you can just push a button and switch out bands. This is a more involved process, but if you are looking at wanting to switch the band out with something that may be a little bit more heavy duty, uh, like stainless steel, or leather, different bands uh, that would fit within this uh, watch, uh, I'll have a link down in the description where you can take a look at uh, another brand that sells these uh, replacement wristbands. And it also comes with a screwdriver set so that you can easily switch out and unscrew those screws. So let's talk about the appearance and how it feels on my wrist. This is what the watch looks like. Uh, it does have that plastic look, even though I do think that it looks really cool. If you compare this watch to some of the other uh, brands that I have reviewed, such as the Tick Watch Pro 3 or even uh, Garmin watches that have either an aluminum or a stainless steel base, the plastic is definitely a noticeable difference. Um, maybe gives it, in my opinion, a little bit more of a cheap look. But at the same time, it's got the, uh, the plastic rim, but it has these metal screws that give it a good appearance, a good build. I do like the physical buttons 
that are on the side and uh, I've noticed some of the other watches that have the haptic buttons don't always seem to be as responsive as having physical buttons. The touch screen to me, uh, like right there, I seem to swipe down and then it, it swiped to the right for some reason. Uh, I have noticed that it's not always 100% right spot on. Now maybe that's my fingers or maybe that's the responsiveness of the watch. So we'll have to see, but I do uh, like the AMOLED screen where it's very bright and vibrant. And because it's all made of plastic from a weight standpoint, it is very light on my wrist. It does have a big footprint. If you're somebody that doesn't like maybe a big footprint on your wrist, maybe this is not the watch for you. On my average size wrist though, I think it has a good feel and a good look. So also let's talk about the battery that is on this. So this has a 390 milliamp hour battery. It, with typical use on Amaze Fitz website says that it will get 18 days of battery. I'm gonna see uh, in my testing here how the battery does. And then with heavy use, it says that you will get nine days out of the battery or 40 hours if you are continuously using the GPS. So let's talk about the watch faces on this smartwatch. And I think that is one of the coolest features about smartwatches is having a cool looking face because that's what you're going to show everybody and that's what you're constantly going to be looking at. On the T-Rex Pro, in order to change your watch face, you can just simply press down on the main screen and that's going to bring up all these other stored watch faces. Now you can customize these. You can download more from the store and I'll show you how to do that. But essentially these are all the downloaded faces that I have on my watch and there's a little edit button underneath each one of them. Uh, some of the screens that you can edit, if I click on edit, It'll give me the option here. So it usually shows me like the battery percentage. I can choose calories, PAI, which is my overall fitness score, stand, humidity, weather. There's all sorts of them, steps. So you find the one you want and then just hit select. And now that is going to change or customize that particular watch face. Um, when I am pressing down and I go to a different watch face, like say this one, which it's kind of got that soccer ball theme in the background, or maybe Spider-Man. It looks like Spider-Man to me. Uh, you can click on the edit, and then this one, it actually, as you scroll up or down, it's going to change the color of the background. So some of them let you edit the uh, steps and different stats. Others just allow you to change the background or the styling. You can... Uh, customize all these different ones and I've downloaded a whole bunch. I honestly don't know if there is a limit to how many you can have downloaded on your watch at one time. But right now I think I have like 10 or 15 of them and it doesn't seem to be limiting me at this time. So you can see there's all different types. Uh, it came with five watches pre-loaded, watch faces pre-loaded on the watch. Uh, to get more of them, you go into the Zep app, and I'll show you that right here. So let's jump into the Zep app, and this is my home page. To change watch faces, what I'm going to do is click on Profile, and under Profile, I can see my devices. I'll find my T-Rex Pro. I'm going to click on that, and this is the dashboard for all the different things on my T-Rex Pro. There is the store that you're going to want to click on. The store has all these different watch faces that you can choose from. It even has their top three, but then there's a whole bunch more up-to-date watch faces here that you can choose from. There are more underneath. So these allow you to do a custom background, which I thought was pretty neat. Uh, there are a bunch of different styles. So if you want to download one of these to your watch, let's just pick like, I like this style number three. So we're gonna click on that and it's going to show you all the different information about that particular watch face. And then you can click sync and then it's gonna go ahead and start downloading that watch face. Now, while that's downloading, we'll get the watch out here and we'll let this finish. It goes fairly quickly. Uh, once it's downloaded, it's going to start the sync and we'll see on the watch here that it's starting to sync. Just about done. And then we will see that particular watch face now enabled 
on the watch. Now this particular style, this is one of the watch faces that you can customize. So if we click back into that, again, you can customize it to have a different background, or you can change the background if you want to add like your own picture. So we'll jump into my photos. Uh, there's a picture of my lazy dog Dash, just kind of chilling. So we will get him in the frame somewhere and then select. We'll go ahead and sync that up. And now I can have Dash sleeping on my watch so that every time I think I'm working too hard, I can just refer to my dog and he will give me some insight that I need to take a break and rest like he does all day long. So it categorizes the watch faces by up to date. It gives you the top ones, custom background, and then freestyle mechanic. So there's different uh, categorizations, or you can click in the upper right up top, and this actually puts them in a list format. There's probably about 30 watch faces to choose from, which isn't a ton when you can compare how many watch faces are available for some of the other brands of watches. Now, in addition to the ones that are shown here, and you can see star ratings by them, if we jump back to the categorization ones, there are uh, a couple of the custom background. There are, there's the more options. So there's like five of them here that you can choose from, and then you can add your own pictures and customize them. So you're probably looking at like 30 to 35 different background styles that you can choose from. I don't know if there's gonna be more added at a later point. I do think that there's a lot of cool ones that are in here. If you want me to go more in depth about customizing some of the cooler watch faces or what are some of the coolest ones I've found. I know for some of my other uh, brands I've reviewed, I've done my top 10 watch faces. Let me know down in the comments section below if that would be of interest to you or if you've got other questions about customizing your watch faces. Swiping to the left is going to give you all of your different apps that you can choose from and there are a whole bunch, these are pre-loaded on the watch, so you can see all the different uh, ones that you can choose from, something as an example like a compass. Uh, I'm very impressed with, always handy having that. If we jump back, uh, things like a barometer, stopwatch, just give you an example here. Timer, events, uh, it does say it controls music, but it can't seem to be able to control anything, so that may be something I still need to set up. The Find My Phone feature, notification, and then settings. So that is all swiping to the left. If we swipe up from the bottom, this gives you uh, your stats for today. And uh, I can see here the amount of steps. So I've already got 3578 out of my 10,000. Went for a walk earlier, uh, my activity goal, PAI, uh, real-time weather, heart rate, SpO2, so your blood oxygen level. You can also take those readings from the watch. If we go into settings, you can also add more to this list. So let's say I wanted to add the weather over several days. I could choose that, click plus, and then if I go back, uh, now it has added that to the bottom of my list, and you can put these in any order that you want in here as well, but now I can see the weather for several upcoming days. So if I swipe to the right, that's gonna bring up any notifications. Uh, I am gonna be testing all that out on this watch and then doing a upcoming review video, which uh, depending on when you're watching this video will be linked down in the description or at the end of this video once that's come out, but I would say you could watch for that uh, coming out here in the near future. And you can also check down in the description for the link over to that video once it's created. So let's jump over to the uh, Zep app. And then in the Zep app, I am under my T-Rex Pro device. And this gives you an area where you can set different things, get things set up. So we have like notifications and reminders. In order to see the incoming calls, what I can do is go into that. And then incoming call alerts, I switched that on. Show contact information, delay alerts. Uh, before it's gonna let me do any of that stuff on my phone, I will need to allow it access. So we're gonna click on that. It says here, allow Zep to make and manage calls. We're gonna go ahead and allow that. So it's asking me here for D&D &D permission required. Silence phones, ringtones for incoming calls on the watch. 
Uh, if I click on that, it's telling me that I need to give it permission so that I can do that. If I go into settings and then I scroll down under my do not disturb access, I'll see the ZEP app and right now it's not allowed. We're going to allow that and then we'll jump back here. All right, so now incoming call alerts, uh, it will be able to detect those. I can also see here if I wanna set up app alerts, incoming messages, and again, I would just need to go in, can't access notifications, so if we click on that, allow Zep access for notifications, we're gonna say okay. I'll have to find that app in my list of apps here. Here's Zep, I'm going to give it access. We'll just back out of that and now that is connected. Uh, so it does have uh, different settings here. So incoming uh, SMS alerts, we're gonna turn that on. And then if I wanted to get app alerts, if I wanna turn those on, watch will vibrate upon receiving an app push message, only receive when screen is off. So you can turn on app notifications too if you wanna do that. So I'm interested to know what are your thoughts about this smartwatch. I plan on wearing it and putting it through a bunch of testing so that I can come back and do a full review, give you my honest opinions on my usage and experience using this smartwatch. And before I do that, I will uh, use the comments that you leave down in the comments section below to better help me with my testing. And then when I am filming my review, give you information that you're looking for about the T-Rex Pro. In addition to this watch, I've done reviews on all sorts of other watches, Fitbits, the TicWatch Pro 3, Garmin watches. You can find all of those linked down in the description below. And at the time of shooting this video, hopefully in the next week here, I plan on coming out with a review of the T-Rex Pro watch. That'll also be linked down at the, uh, at the end of this video, as well as down in the description once that review is available as well. My name is Jeff. As always, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.